This video will be um, putting the head back on for a uh, 70s 250 that's in a uh, 66 Chevy pickup truck. I haven't finished cleaning off the surfaces. I also need to get up all the uh, gunk that fell into the uh, the cylinders and are resting on the pistons because I don't want that to damage the valves. I also need to be careful of uh, uh, getting gunk into the coolant holes or the uh, push rod holes or the oil drain or even the uh, the threads. I saw a hot spot. I thought that was a uh, blown head gasket or a cracked head. Turned out that the exhaust gasket was leaking right here right onto the uh, temperature sensing unit because uh, somebody had reused a bad um, exhaust gasket so all this was for nothing pretty much I, all I had to do was replace the exhaust gasket but anyways at least I found out that back at number six there's some oil build up and the uh, I found that the valve stem seal was bad for number six for the exhaust valve so just as well I guess so I have uh, uh, scraped with the razor the uh, surface for the head gasket and as well as I could and I wiped it down cleaned out the uh, pistons as well as I could down in the uh, cylinders and uh, then I felt it by finger uh, along areas like here to make sure that it's smooth. Also another thing to important to note is that these go right through to the uh, cooling jacket and there's still some uh, uh, coolant in there because it didn't fully drain out of the block so I'm going to have to put uh, silicone sealant on the threads of the head gas or of the uh, cylinder head bolts now the last step that I'll need to do before putting the uh, cylinder head which is right here back on the uh, the uh, block is I need to clean up these bolts here the uh, bottom row was, are the 12 cylinder head bolts. Um, these are the old style that uh, can be reused. Uh, newer style head bolts on newer engines. They're often designed to stretch a little bit or something and you can only use them once. Uh, these aren't like that. Some people will replace them anyway. The important thing though is that these threads are cleaned. If I don't clean those threads, then it's going to take extra effort to um, torque down these head bolts, and then um, that extra effort will throw off the uh, how tight I can get the head bolts. Uh, I have to. You should use a torque wrench when doing this. To make sure it's tight enough and if it's reading the right tightness but the resistance is from the uh, gunk on the threads then your head it really isn't down tight enough and it could potentially cause the head gasket to fail I've uh, to avoid getting hurt uh, while putting the head on and to uh, get it on uh, drop it straight down I'm trying some new things that I usually don't do for one I'm actually in the vehicle uh, I've avoided putting my feet where there's wires or a brake line. There's plenty of space here. I also have to watch out for the radiator uh, core. Um, there's a pin here and a pin here to help guide the head gasket, keep the head gasket in place and to guide the head down because it's important not to move them around and destroy the head gasket while trying to get the head right. Um, so, I'll put the head gas going first, and line up the little dot there, or dowel, make sure everything's in place. So, 
Holes are now lined up, and I'm ready for the head now. Okay. Okay, so this time I have placed screwdrivers in, uh, that fit through the bolt holes uh, in order to uh, guide me straight down uh, since I don't want to mess this up. I want to get it right the first time. And I can see the screwdrivers on this side. Uh, once I get lined up, the, both of them lined up with the bolt holes that they uh, line up with, correspond to, then I could drop it straight down. That's the plan, at least. Let's go do this one first. Okay, get it. And this one. There we go. And I messed up. Okay, so I'll lift it up. Try again. I'm going. It looks like I got it this time. Everything looks lined up. So now the head is back on. And time to put the uh, bolt the bolts in. On this kind of engine, you start with the bolts in the middle and then uh, it's supposed to, the final torque rating is supposed to be about 95 foot pounds but you don't get to 95 right away you put it on get about halfway there uh, on one bolt then work on the next then you go out kind of like in a circle that way you don't distort the uh, head gasket or the head you want to start in the middle and put the uh, push the pressure out since this uh, block, uh, the uh, bolt holes go right through into the uh, coolant passage, uh, the uh, threads need to be uh, caulked, or uh, you need to put silicone on them. Don't need to put too much, but enough that coolant won't be able to uh, get past them once they're uh, threaded in. And uh, usually you would want to use blue or gray chemically engineered for uh, coolant, but uh, due to an oversight on my part, I just have black. And it's not uh, coming out well. Will you get the nail? What I do is I uh, put them in and seat them just uh, firmly but not crank down really that much and then uh, crank it up to uh, like halfway maybe 45 or so uh, whatever and then work your way up and then just keep on going around until they're all at 95 and then you just go around and verify just keep going because as you crank one bolt down the other bolts will uh, relatively uh, be under less pressure so you'll have to go back and crank them down again in the uh, circular pattern otherwise you'll wind up with bolts out here at 95 and over here uh, much lower so you just have to keep going over and over again until they're all tight at the 95 foot pounds. Uh, on a different engine, it'll be a different torque. Uh, the small block V8s are usually uh, less than 95. I forgot offhand what their figure is, but 95 is one of the uh, higher 
torque ratings or torque or bolt r pressures in my uh, 70s engine book. Okay, just out of curiosity, now that I have all the bolts on, I wanted to see how tight I was getting them when I was seating the uh, bolt heads against the uh, uh, cylinder head. And it happens to be just uh, under 20 foot pounds. Getting it tighter, it uh, came up to about under about 55 foot pounds, which is fine for the uh, first go. Uh, I need to get it up to 95 though. But so now I know that what tightness to get the other bolts to uh, based on feel. If you don't do this, you might go too far and as far as the uh, tightness in proportion to the others. You don't want to go too fast up to 95. I'll go up uh, a bit more probably to about 75 this time. 75. Okay, so now I've got in out to the ends at uh, each bolt in a circular pattern all the way out to the end to 75. I'm going to see how much I lost uh, by torquing it down in the middle, or how much I lost in the middle by torquing down the sides. And it's about 70. So now I'll go to 95. Okay, so now I have this all down to 95 foot pounds all the way to the end, which is what the uh, um, some of these Schultz manual tells me it should be and it's time to just go around and make sure that they're all that and this one came loose about 10 foot pounds so I'm going to go around one more time and keep going until uh, they're all tight So that one was about 85 also. No, it's about 95. Barely. I lost a little bit, but not much. Now I've gotten all the uh, um, bolts uh, t starting in the middle and working way out. Uh, they're all tied into 95 foot pounds, and I've gone through, verified, none of them came th loose. And so this stage of the uh, cylinder head replacement is uh, pretty much finished. Of course, I need to piece it back together. Putting the uh, push rods back in and adjusting the uh, rockers here. There's push rod holes along here. And I need to uh, adjust the uh, valves. Um, but that will be another video.